The first device that we're going to discuss that can create a modulated signal are multiplier modulators. So this is a type of analog multiplier. And like all modulators, we want the output to be a product of the message multiplied by a cosine that has a frequency, a single frequency of our, our, our carrier. So that's this FC. So we're going to be looking at devices that multiply our message signal with a carrier cosine wave. Now, one typical or way, one uh, way to do this, uh, an easy way to do this, is to multiply the message uh, using a uh, multiplier modulator. So you could think of a variable gain amplifier where the gain is controlled by the message. So if you think back to your electronics class uh, discussing the value of beta, maybe when you were looking at a, a BJT amplifier, you could think about a transistor circuit, a transistor amplifier circuit, where you control the value of beta using the message. So the message has some voltage associated with it, and you would use that to control your beta value. Now, if your cosine carrier wave goes through an amplifier, so if you amplify your cosine wave in an amplifier where beta is controlled by the message, you could get an output with the message being multiplied by cosine multi uh, with, with that has a frequency of that carrier wave. Now, this seems uh, simple now, but this used to be a lot more difficult, right? Because uh, basically building all of these uh, integrated circuits or uh, those types of transistors used to be more difficult. So during that uh, more historical period when it wasn't so easy to just get uh, all these transistors, which is you know very convenient for us now in uh, 2022 when I'm making this video, uh, they had to come up with a, a lot of clever ways to perform this modulation. So this one is maybe the easiest now, but there's a lot of clever ways that we'll talk about. If you want to think a little bit more about the uh, multiplier modulator, as you might do it now, right, you could recall a circuit like this, uh, some type of BJT circuit, and recall that we had a large series of equations. You probably saw this in another class, but we had this beta value, which is a ratio between uh, these two different currents. So if you can control these currents uh, by uh, controlling the current value or maybe this uh, voltage with your message, then you could uh, effectively multiply a uh, cosine wave by your message by controlling these, these two things. So this, this is an easy way to do it now, but in the rest of the videos, we're going to see some more uh, classic ways that are all uh, quite clever that you can use to multiply your message by a cosine wave.